Welcome back to Any Carry Story for Kids. And now it's the best time story again. This story names Happy Birthday Time Three. In this story, now three years, chapter chapter one, earning so money. Chapter two, birthday shopping, and chapter three, the birthday party. Now, we only read one chapter, so we read the chapter one. Earning some money. Let's read. Money. Mom said at me at breakfast, "You know how it's our birthday next week." How could I forget? Said Mom. Chocolate birthday. Three cake, three lots of presents, three times the fun, says Johnson. That was how Mom always answered when people looked at the cards, shook their heads and said, three times the work, three times the fun, said Mom. I need to buy presents for Joe and Jess, said Amy. I need to buy presents for Jess and Amy, says Joe. Me too, says Jess. I need to buy presents for Amy and Joe. Have you got any money? said Mom. No. 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 Well, you have to make something special for each other then. The girl shook the head. We want to buy presents. We can earn some money. We can do jobs. Last year, said Jess, we made cakes for each other. And another time, said Joe, we paint pictures for each other. This year, Dad said, if we did real jobs, we would get some money. Mom thought for a minute. Well, your room is a big mess. She looked at each of girls in turn. It needs a clean up, and I mean a really good clean. Mom opened the door to the bedroom. Books, clothes, toy. Toys, clothes, books. Everywhere you looked, there were more clothes, more books, and more toys. By lunchtime, it won this room's spotlights. Okay, okay, Mom. I won the books that neatly. The bookshelf, the toys in the toy box, and the clothes in the cupboard. You got a lot to do. This morning, I see you in few hours. Amy, Joe, and Jess sat in the middle of the bedroom. This would take long, says Amy, and she picked up the spinning top and flicked it spinning under the bunk. Now, said Joe, as she opened the book about the monster and began to read. Just pulled over the top and was trying one of Joe's that she had found under the wardrobe. All the morning they played. Amy found a fire engine that he, she had thought they'd lost. She built a town with construction set. set and try to walk out which building she could burn down. Joe finished her book on monster, but found another about dinosaur, and she wondered which of one sounded scarier: Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops. Just talk of her genes to the sweater and. Whether the trip be start or one with spot on the 
I look better with the white t-shirt. Amy made a hurricane knock over the whole town, and then she played game cards against in a rattle, who wasn't very good. Joe found a story about a bad ghost who tricked the children and good ghosts who saved them. Jess tried on all possible clothes she could wear to the birthday party. She had just decided to tighten skirt, the a shoveless on top, and her new jungles when they heard her the mom voice. Five more minutes, you lost. Then the lunch will be ready, and I'll be into the into check. The three girls looked each other. Amy scooped all the toys in a big pile and rushed them under her bed. Jo gathered all the books and put them in the bottom of the shelf in the bookcase. Jess grabbed the clothes from over the floor and shoved them into the bottom of the wardrobe. The bedroom door opened. Well done, said Mom. She looked around. Should I check if everything is in its right place? No need to, said Jess. We've done it perfectly. Everything is fine, Mom, said Jim. We did it all just the way you like us to, says Amy. Good, says Mom. She placed three piles of money on the top of the cupboard. After lunch, I want you in the backyard to clean up the mess of toys there too. And this time, I'm going to help. Okay, thank you very much for this bedtime story. Bye. Have a nice, good sleep.